Hello and welcome back. It's time to get back to the nursing stuff. So Christmas has been and gone. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and who's looking forward to 2019? So why not grab yourself a cup of tea, keep calm and let's vlog. So even though I've had December off and I don't start back into university until the 14th of January when I start third year, just in case you don't know. <laughs> So throughout December, even though we're off, we're given something that's called cap period or cap work, something like that. It's called cap period. So we're given on our Moodle site on, on the university page, we are given like little tiles that we click into and we can download workbooks and things like that and useful resources and reading links to prepare ourselves for the year ahead of us. So I've been onto the cap tile. Look at all this. Oh, there is work. <laughs> Got so much work to do throughout December. So basically, I have printed it all off and I've been starting it. I've been going through it bit by bit. I got to this one, however. For anyone that was following my journey throughout second year and we had the research module. you're gonna know that I'm gonna hate this. <laughs> I'm gonna hate this so much. <laughs> so what am I not looking forward to to 2019? Let's start with that because then that's gonna be the easiest. Research. Research, research. Why, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> okay, I love evidence-based practice. I love finding research. I love doing some research. I don't look forward to sitting and listening to someone talk to me about research because as you all know if you watch the other vlogs from the last university lectures that we had it's draining and there's no exciting fun way to teach research and I feel really bad for the lecturers because it's not their fault it's research <laughs> so that's one thing that I'm just I'm not looking forward to the research um, lectures and fingers crossed I'm going to be proven wrong please prove me wrong university and surprise me and I will eat my words so to be honest, I've had a quick look through this workbook and I've put it down, I'm not gonna lie. So my next lot of work I got onto was the preparation for our NP4 exam. NP is nursing practice. So basically what we have to do in this one is we have to go back to our previous modules and just refresh our memory on observations and what it means to have a high temperature, high heart rate, high blood pressure, all of that. Then our next task was this so there's a list of different medications at the top and then there's a list down the side of respiratory rate o2 heart rate blood pressure urine output it have poo blood glucose and temperature so we have to guess what each medication could possibly do to somebody's observations so that when we go in and do a set of observations we know that okay this person's got a lower heart rate than normal because they're on a beta blocker so then you might not give that beta block it because it might reduce the heart rate even more and it could be dangerous to that patient does that make sense i hope i'm making sense um so there are certain medications that you do have to check the last lot of observations like the blood pressure and the heart rate before giving a medication because if that patient's already on a medication that's dropping the heart rate and blood pressure and they're blood pressure and heart rate is really really low already you don't want to be given another one of those medications because yeah <laughs> floor probably so yeah so we've had to guess or we i've had to guess what um what effect it'll have on the body basically that was a really a really good exercise i actually really enjoyed that i got my trusty bnf out and i went through each medication and something that i noticed was on each medication if you go to certain drug pages, so if you go to the loop diuretics, um, there's like an explanation of the actual drug and how it works on the body. So actually in addition to this, I'm actually gonna make some little flashcards on each thing. So the loop diuretics, I'm gonna go to beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, opiates, um, beta two agonists, steroids, and I'm gonna write little flashcards for each one just to help me piece everything together, I think, because that's gonna be coming in really, really handy for future medication use out there on the wards. And it's something I can keep in my pocket as well. So if I'm ever asked, I can just be like, got it. <laughs> 
So that's it. So I do have a lot of work, a lot of research to do still um, before I start in January. And I think I'm going to take this time between now and then to just refresh my brain on the physiology side as well, because that's really important for the MP4 exam, as well as the whole research side. So all in all, I'm actually looking forward to the modules. So the modules so far that I can see is NP4 or ACP slash dissertation, not dissertation. And we've got a policy and politics um, assignment as well to do and another maths um, exam and another poster presentation. Oh which I'm dreading because I think this one by the sounds of it is a solo presentation in front of people so not looking forward to that but hopefully it's going to go okay and hopefully third year is going to be amazing. So I'm just going to add on to the end of this video if any of you have watched my vlogs from the very very start some of you might know that throughout January last year I did nurse positivity where I did something different every single day to hopefully take away someone's January blues and I'm gonna be doing it again this month. So every single day in January, I'm gonna be spreading nurse positivity everywhere, hopefully gonna make someone's day, motivate someone to do some good for somebody else. And yeah, so that's gonna be, next week's vlog is gonna be the start of that. As well as that, I'll try and fit in some nursing vlogs as well for you. So hopefully gonna post a couple a week. We'll see though, <laughs> but there'll always be a video on a Sunday, so watch out for those. And as always, thank you again so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, give them your subscribe and I'll see you next week.